Hey everybody, in this video we are going to set up our server for using the outgoing packet manager. So currently inside of our server header, you know we have this vector of TCP connections. And if we go into the TCP connections, you'll see that we have a packet manager for the incoming packets as well as a packet manager for the outgoing packets. Now we've set up all the logic that we need for the incoming packet manager, however we still have to set up uh, the logic for the outgoing packet manager for the server. Currently, if we go to our server CPP, let's take a look at our frame function for our server class, and you'll see that when we get a new connection and we're setting up the WSA poll FD struct, for our events, we are only looking at if we can read normal data without blocking. However, we are not checking if we are able to write normal data without blocking. Before we can send data, we have to make sure that we are actually able to write normal data without blocking before we even attempt to send the data. So what we're going to do here is we are going to OR this. We are ORing it with the pull write normal data flag, which if we, if we go back and look at the documentation for this struct, I believe it should have all the flags there. But since we looked at that in the previous video, I'm not going to pull that up again. Next, we need to implement the logic for when we are able to write normal data to actually do so. Let's scroll down and see what we currently have set up. So these are all of our errors that we are checking for, and then we are checking for if we can read normal data without blocking. What we're going to do is just after we check if we can read data, we're going to check if we can write data. So we'll say, If we can write normal data, then here is where we would try to write it. Just to make this a little bit easier to read, we are going to create a reference variable for our packet manager and just call that PM. And that will just be referencing the outgoing packet manager. We're only going to try to send data if there are pending packets in our outgoing packet manager. So let's set up a while loop for this. So we'll say while there are pending packets in our outgoing packet manager, the next thing that we would do here is we would check if we are currently processing the packet size or processing the packet's contents. If our current task is process packet size, then here is where we will focus on sending the packet size. Otherwise, if we're down here to send packet contents, this is where we would send that. What we're going to do here is we are going to store the current packet size by retrieving the uh, first packet, and then looking at the buffer, and then getting the size of that buffer. The next thing we need to do is store the packet size in network byte order, which will be in Big Indian. Next, we are going to try to send the packet size, and we are going to store the byte sent in a variable called byte sent. So we will be calling send. Here for the socket handle, we could either get the handle from the connection, but that's a little bit long. So instead I'm going to get the handle from the file descriptor. Next, we need to pass in the pointer to the data that we are going to be sending. So this needs to be cast to a char pointer. We are going to be looking at the address of our big Indian packet size plus whatever our extraction offset is. 99.9 .9 whatever percent of the time, we are going to be able to send the size all in one send, but this is just to handle the partial sends in case we somehow only send one of the two bytes for the packet size. Next, we're going to send the length. Now, for the length, it's going to be the size of a 16-bit unsigned integer, and then we are going to subtract whatever our, our extraction offset is. So the first time we go to send this, the extraction offset will be zero. So we'll say two bytes minus zero, and we would send two bytes. For the last argument, it's just the flags, and we're not using any of the flags, so I'm just going to put zero. Now it's a big, long, nasty line, but now we should have our bytes sent here. What we're going to do is we're going to say if so if at least one byte was sent, then we are going to adjust our current packet extraction offset by how many bytes were sent. Next, what we're going to do, I'm just going to paste here and review. It's pretty simple. We're going to say 
if the current extraction offset is the size of our you know packet size variable that we're sending, then we know that we've sent the full packet size. So we're going to reset the packet extraction offset to zero, and we are going to adjust the current task to be process packet contents. So on the next iteration, we will process packets contents instead of size. Otherwise, if we get to the else, if we haven't sent the full packet size, we're just going to break out because what that's telling us is that we're probably going to block when we try to send that data. And we don't want to try to send data unless we know that we can send it without blocking. In this case, we'll just get it on the next call to the frame function. Now let's look at how we will send the packet contents. First, let's just go ahead and create a variable to get the pointer to our buffer. Now, just like we did before, we are going to call uh, send and store the number of bytes sent. So I'm just going to copy that line down here. I'll paste it. We just got to make some small adjustments. So instead of being the address of big Indian packet size, we're going to pass in our buffer pointer here. We're still going to offset it by our current extraction offset. And then down here, instead of using the size of a 16-bit unsigned integer, we are going to use the current packet size variable that we filled just before. After that, we're going to do the same thing we did before, where if we send more than one byte, we will append those bytes to our current packet extraction offset. The last thing we're going to do is check if the full packet was sent. So the way we'll do that is we'll check if the current packet's extraction offset is equal to the current packet size. And if they match up, then we're going to reset the extraction offset back to zero and reset the current task to be the process packet size task, where we will get the size for the next packet up there on our next iteration. The last thing that we'll do is we're going to remove this packet from the queue since we have sent it out. So we will just call pop on our packet manager to remove that packet from the front of the queue. Now we have our server set up to be able to send out packets. So what we're going to do is when a new user connects, we're just going to send them a welcome message. And the way that we'll do that is just after we have accepted the connection and set up the file descriptor, we are going to create a packet, let's call it a string packet, whatever, chat message. And it's going to say, uh, let's just say welcome. I'll change this to be welcome message packet. And we'll change that to say welcome. And then for our accepted connection, what we are going to do is for the outgoing packet manager, we are going to append this welcome message packet. And then when we are able to write data to that connection, uh, this will automatically be processed by the code that we just wrote. Now we have one issue in regards to testing this, and that is that our client is currently set up to send data. It is not set up to receive data. Because of this, we're going to make a few changes and just kind of rig up the client to be able to work for this. Inside of our client CPP, let's take a look at our frame uh, function. I'm just going to take out uh, all the code we had here, actually. And now instead for our client frame, we're going to start it by creating an incoming packet object. We're going to try to receive the incoming packet. If we lose connection, uh, we'll just say, you know, lost connection, set is connected to false, and return false. If the packet is successfully received, we are going to call process packet, which we still need to add this to the client. We're going to pass in that incoming packet. If we fail to process the packet, we'll set is connected to false and return false. So instead of our client being set up to send data, our client will only be able to receive data for now. Now let's set up our client. So let's go to the client header and we are going to add a function for a process packet. And let's go ahead and generate the definition. Now for our client, I'm just going to copy and paste the old process packet that we had that was just using a packet object instead of a shared pointer. Since the client doesn't have a packet manager, there's no reason to mess with the shared pointers right now. And it's just exactly what we had before. If we get a chat message, we're going to print it out. And, you know, integer array will print that out. So let's go ahead and give this a test. Let's run the server. And now let's run the client. Okay, and you see when the client connects, we get the chat message welcome. 
So that's working exactly how we need. And, you know, if we want to append a packet, it's as easy as just calling the append function on the outgoing packet manager, and then our frame function will take care of the rest, such as sending partial packets and handling all of that crap. What we're going to do in the next video is we are going to make some changes to our server class to make it a little more flexible, and we are going to move it to the PNet library, and we are going to instead create a class that inherits from our server class, and it's going to be way less code to look at, because really, all of this kind of confusing code that we wrote in the frame function, we'll never have to change most of this. It's going to remain the same in our programs, and we can just create a server class that inherits from this and just override things like the process packet function and have some uh, functions for like when a new connection occurs and when a connection is lost. That sums up this video and thanks for watching.